Hi YouTube, this is Shavaya Loves Makeup again, and this is my second video, so I'm really working hard at this, trying to catch up and make videos. This one is also going to be in real time, so I will try and make it quick. The topic that I want to address, I think that um, a lot of women of color and um, as women get older do tend to um, have to address and that is the issue of hyperpigmentation and hyperpigmentation is essentially um, brown spots on your face and they don't necessarily come with age they're not necessarily age spots they can be um, acne scars I've had acne in the past and some scarring that has not gone away with any sort of uh, bleaching treatment or anything like that so now I'm really struggling as I get older with um, hyperpigmentation I, I don't know if you can see, but I have um, some significant spots here um, that I can hide with moisturizer or, I mean, a foundation, but I really want to rid my face of hyperpigmentation. So I'd like to review a few products and also get your input. The first product I'd like to review is one you can get at the drugstore, and it's I think it's been around a long time. It's called Porcelana Night Skin Lightening Cream. And again, I'm doing this hand thing because you all do it, and I don't know if it helps, but you can get this at the drugstore. I think it's under $10. Um, the cons consistency is really, it feels okay in the jar when you put it on your face it is super sticky and it doesn't seem to absorb and in my opinion I used it um, for a significant amount of time it has a weird smell and it did absolutely nothing for my um, hyperpigmentation so I would not recommend this product if you've had success with um, porcelana please let me know the next product I'd like to review is called green cream and this is a retinol I actually came across this on um, an acne um, an acne website. I think it's acneboard.org or something like that, and it was recommended. Um, it is literally a green cream, and it retails for about forty dollars. There's different levels, and you're supposed to step up um, as you use the product and build it. Um, during the evening. I um, I can't say I saw significant results with this particular uh, formula. It goes on better than the porcelana, that's for sure. And I feel like it overall, overall um, um, made my skin look better, but the particular hyperpigmentation I don't feel like it addressed. I felt like my skin felt firmer, if anything else, more tightened, and um, just the overall elasticity was better. Um, so you can get that um, on various websites. I think the one I got it on is um, SkincareRx.com. So again, not sure if I would recommend that. What I do recommend that I'm using right now is Paracone MD Cold Plasma. And this, this is really working for me. I've noticed lightening of some of my spots within two weeks. And you're supposed to use it night and day. Um, it's kind of a off-white color. It soaks in beautifully with your skin. It works well with makeup and with moisturizer during the day. Um, absolutely no problems with it. A slight smell but not funky or weird at all. I not, the most important thing is I've noticed a difference. And I'm going to continue um, to use this until I run out of it. This retails for, this is the most expensive product. It retails for $150 on um, uh, paraconemd.com. I actually won this um, on a blog contest because I would never pay for this on my own otherwise I was so fortunate to have won this and be able to try it out so I highly recommend this product if you're able to afford it 
it's been doing um, wonders for me. It supposedly targets the ten signs of aging, which include um, discoloration, uh, wrinkles, um, pores, I don't know all of them, but that's kind of like the end-all be-all product. So it's working so far for hyperpigmentation, which is my issue. And the last um, product I'd like to review that I have not tried yet is um, Shiseido, uh, the white lucent brightening, um, the white lucent brightening protective moisturizer. It has an SPF sunscreen of 16 as well. I got this on sale at TJ Maxx for $32 and I think it retails for about 50 so still kind of an investment on my part. I usually, well actually that's quite a good deal I'm sure for Shiseido. I've not tried White Lucent. I've seen other people's videos on White Lucent and people seem to like it. So I look forward to trying this product after I'm finished with um, my cold plasma. So. If you have any recommendations about products that have worked for you, I would really love to hear them, especially from uh, women of color. Um, I'm Asian, and so I think there's something to do with our melanin in our skin. I, I don't know, that lends itself to um, hyperpigmentation. So that's my review of uh, whitening agents, I guess you can call them. And thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to your comments and any suggestions. Thank you.